You good? No, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name's Adam. I'm Oliver. And today we are going over Invincible Season 2, Episode 3. One right. away from the mid-season hiatus. And what a fucking episode, dude. Like it was weird. It was so weird. So first off, we it opens up with Mark going to start college and everything seems like fine and dandy. Then all of a sudden, he decides to have sex with his girlfriend. Right. And there was the odd thing of the narrator. Well, that's the thing. So after they start having sex, then it pans out to a narrator that we've never heard before that's talking to or about the show and saying, like, let's go over to someone else. So they go over to Alan the Alien, who is a Nopin from Unopa. And it took me a while to figure that out. So I'm very proud of this. Uh, but so voiced by Seth Rogen and we get kind of his backstory. So we find out that Unopa was attacked by the Viltrumites. Viltrumites killed basically everyone. So what they decided to do was they retreated underground after a sneak attack that failed and started creating Unopans that were kind of either part Viltrumite or could stand up to a Viltrumite. Yeah, like beat the fuck out of them. Yeah. <clears throat> well, they create one, which is Alan the Alien. And we see Alan like go and like try to destroy Viltrumites. He doesn't suit up very well against at least one of them. So they send him out to go find people. Yeah, that he's like an explorer, basically. Yeah. Fight Viltrumites. So he finds Mark. That's who he believes. So he goes back to this council. And as he talks by them, accident, by the way, by accident. So now he's back at this council, and they are. These are the, the same council people that sent him out to go do his tasks are now like, okay, have you found someone? He said, yeah, I found this guy, Mark. He's half Viltrumite. They're obviously a little bit weary of it <clears throat> and stuff. So then he's like, okay, whatever. Like, I still believe in Mark. And he goes off to his home and we see his cat as well as he gets it on with his person, which gave me, like I said, when we were watching it, Secret Invasion, Nick Fury vibes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look, he's home and he has a wife. Um, and they work together. <laughs> so they get it on. Narrator tries to get away from that, like he did the last sex scene, to go back to Mark and, and they're still having sex. sex scene. So. <laughs> so then he goes back over to uh, Alan, and Alan goes to dinner with his wife or girlfriend, whoever she is. And as he's talking to her about this mole that the council is telling him about, that's within everything, he's attacked by by three Viltrumites who end up. Beating the living fucking Dude, it's kind of insane how much strength they have. And they beat him, basically. They knock his eyeball out. Very Glenn-like. I'm surprised it wasn't Steven Yeun. Uh, and they cut his arm off. Cut his arm off and blasted him through the chest, which seemed like he was dead, but then apparently he was kept on some kind of survival Fata thing. tank yeah. type of thing. And he's in there, and his wife's there, and then all of a sudden this guy in charge, Chance or whatever it is, Comes in, dismisses her, and then kills his life support, which is going to kill him. And as soon as that happens, it cuts to the black and then the credits. Then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, here's our post credit scene. But no, it's only halfway through the episode. Because we were both they, like, wow, well, that was fast. It was more like, this is an episode of Alan. This is the rest of the episode. Yeah. Which, because if you notice, they cut off their net the narration after the credits yeah and right. they also yeah not only that it was like if you are alan the alien as a title card not invincible not invincible so right. yeah so we get basically the next part of the story which deals with rex dealing with duplicate and her cheating on him and finding out that the reason she's with immortal is because of the amount of times he's died he relates to her and then his also clone that's kind of he's a clone anyway but of young rudy asks monster girl out to a movie because he's been learning to get rid of all his fear in turn being able to ask a girl out but fear is so, actually a yeah. way of learning in exactly a world, so you know? he takes her out to watch a horror movie they go there she does some things to get someone like oh come into uh come play or come, come yeah play. Come, come play their i meant play their mom and lets them in they watch it then they go eat a burger he tries a burger for the first time she's like wow that's crazy Blah blah blah. Is it weird? But that burger's like seemed kind of good. 
I think you're just in the mood for meat, but I think I am, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm really it's... craving steak. So after that, we get come back to Mark, and he is talking, or he comes back to his room with his roommate, and they're about to talk about everything that's going on. Then all of a sudden, there's a knock on the door. And the knock on the door is Mark's childhood superhero, which Mark does not believe in the slightest and starts to pummel him and like take him out and like beat the shit out of him. Finds out it's this kind of like bug like looking creature that's asking, Hey, there's a bunch of like a billion of us or billions of us that are about to die from a meteor shower. Like, can you come help? So he decides, Okay, yeah, I'm going to come help, do that. And he gets there and everything just seems so shady. It takes six days it's to get weird. there. Weird. Yeah. And while that's happening, so while all this is happening, meanwhile, we have his mom who has joined a support group based on her friend that said, hey, this place has helped me. And it's to help with like the whole superhero is your spouse kind of stuff. But when she gets there, she realized everyone lost their superhero spouse. So they're all exacting grief where hers is It's almost dead. like in Endgame where like yeah. Captain America so, had that talking Yeah, group. so it's like yeah. not dead. And then she freaks out. So she like doesn't say anything throughout the whole thing. One of them... Uh, comes over and invites her out to a local dive. They go there. She's talking, and then she finds out that his spouse was one of the people that Omni Man killed. So she goes out crying. He confronts her. She tells him everything, and he tells her, "Don't come back to the support group," which is not the reaction I was expecting. I thought he was going to be more supportive, but definitely not where I thought it was going. He was like, "Fuck you." So as that happens, then we come back to Mark, who's arrived at this planet, woken up by this guy. And when he gets there, he, like, sees everyone, sees the young ones, and he's just very iffy about it. He asks them about the meteors while they're walking. He doesn't remember that he said that. And it's like, oh, yeah, I have Alzheimer's. Yeah, okay. Or dementia. Um, and when he gets up to the front, then he finds out that the monarch that they're taking him to that's going to explain everything is his fucking dad. On yeah. The end. That's crazy. And then we cut to the actual crap. And we have, like, like, a real peaceful world. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you can just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to a therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you. Any schedule and flexibility and at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month with at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker. The link is going to be right down below in the description. Man, I can't believe how addicting Cinnamon Toast Crunch is. <laughs> right? What are you wearing? A shirt? You're, you're into scary movies, right? Kinda. Eh, I see it. Anyway, there's a sick brand that I know of. Um, they make a bunch of like horror esque type of. Here, I tell you what. Let me just. Better. Oh. I like that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. You know who makes that? Who? Seventh Ink. Really? All artwork, original. Whoa, that's. Yeah, a you cool. got a little little bats on you. But what about you? What about me? Oh. But what about your mask? Oh. Well. Get off the ad dipshit. I mean, these shirts are awesome though. Like they're really comfortable. They fit nice. Like Honestly, this is like great. The one at you. This is pretty lightweight. They don't shrink. And yeah. It's like it's it just like. Come on, just look at me. This is great. You know what? Want to grab some popcorn and watch a scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> what the f*** was that? And we're back. So with seeing the reveal of Omni Man at the end of this, and it is a peaceful planet, where do you believe, like, w he's got to have a ploy on this. Like, I feel like he's going to tell Mark that he's changed because all these people are alive. 
And then Mark's going to tell him, like, fuck off, dad. And I think his dad's just going to be like, all right. And just so, murder everyone. With the Alan storyline, we didn't confirm that he actually abandoned his post. All we got was that he left and disappeared. Yes. Didn't say he abandoned his post. Mm-hmm. So this could be a different tactic to turn Mark. Could saying, be. Saying, hey, look what could be Earth. Yeah. You know? And so I think that's the route we're taking. I don't. I mean, you can't trust Omni-Man after fucking no. season one, right? No, you can't. So, yeah, I, I think it's going – so, like, he first tells him, like, oh, I'm from another dimension. So, like, the dimension thing is said by this, gr- like, race of aliens. They know about the dimensions. And I think we're definitely getting into Mark. Obviously, we know there's other versions of him out there. So, like, we know they exist. So, it's like, when is he finally going to meet them? And if this is a peaceful environment, is this his Omni-Man? Uh, I, or is actually, this a alternate dimension? Omni-Man? So another thing is this the good version? I don't of know. His dad? I don't think this is like an alternate dimension. What if this is the ants playing Omni Man? No, doubt they it. were just they were just a dog. No, all right, calm down. Anyways, no, I don't think. Yeah, if they do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna yell at you. You have to eat one of those. Words. Okay, that's fine. And if not, you have to. No, that's how it works. That's not how it works. Okay. Anyways, so. Um, I don't believe that's going on. I think that this might be a good version of Omni Man. Just like there's only one Mark that went good, there's probably only one Omni Man that went good, and maybe Mark started going a little dark. So that's the possibility. Or he's just playing them, which is more likely. I don't think we'll get another Omni. I think every Omni Man in every universe is a prick. Mm. Like I'm pretty sure. But also, we know in the comics when he did do alternate dimensions, he jumped into Spider Man's universe. So there might be a chance we see Spider Man. True. We are still waiting for that. So who knows? Well, I don't know how the rights of that work. I don't with Amazon. know either. So we'll see where that goes. I don't know. What do you rate talk- the episode? Uh, I would rate this episode mm, probably for like the weird way it was and everything. Like I kind of hated it, but liked it at the same time. I'll give it like a s- seven and a half. Ooh, nine and a half for me because of the weird way. I'm saying seven and a half because as much as I like where this plot development's going, I feel like we introduced the dimensions part and then kind of like segued away from it for a while. Like we didn't get any more um, post credit scene about more of that stuff. So like I, what do you mean? It was the longest post credit scene we've ever had. Yeah, but nothing about the multi dimensions. Like it kind of seemed like it was going to that, and then it was a shift away. So it's like I don't know. This we'll see where this ends up going. But I would say I, I I'll go with an eight. I'll go with an eight. And that's only because I really like this show. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's the worst episode, but so far out of the three, it, it's like my second favorite, I would say. Okay. The last episode was my least favorite with the okay. fish people. It was a lot. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. I didn't like that That was either. too long of an episode with two. Or, like, I would have. Re- if they would have done that trick of, like, cut to credits on that episode, I think I would have liked that one more <laughs> than this. <laughs> but. Um, other than that, where can they find you, bud? You can find me on the uh, Sphere 21 on any social media platform except for TikTok. I am Oliver Khan VA. And you can find me at AMR Photography. You can find the studio at Archangel Studios Official. And you can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you guys next week for the mid-season finale of...